just as promised, ladies and gentlemen, the future princess of Hallmark Channel's Royally Ever After. She is here, our good friend, Fiona Goobelman. Yay! Welcome. It's good to have you here. I, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to greet you now. I'll, we'll get to that later on. Bow, is it? curtsy. See, you yeah, can bow. I can bow. Because <laughs> I'm not going to curtsy. I'm not going to curtsy. Call your majesty. <laughs> Talk about a storybook romance oh, this yes. movie is. I understand that your character has uh, something in common, actually, with the former you know, princess, uh, Diana. Yes. Um, well, Sarah is an elementary school teacher, yeah. as was Diana. And she also kind of gets thrown into the royal world and has to learn all the rules and definitely has to work hard to win over the queen. And does she? Does she not? You'll have to uh, see I, in the movie. I think she does. I think she's a very quick learner. <laughs> <laughs> I understand there was a bit of confusion on set with the name Fiona. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because you know, Fiona is not a very popular name. I mean, it's a pretty unique name. Not on your set, though. No? Okay, well, um, my mom grew up in England, and so her boarding school roommate was Fiona, and so that's how she came up with the name. It's, it's, oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. I love it. Thank Man. you so much. Yeah. I used to joke that I named myself, but <laughs> <laughs> people actually do that, so I uh, <laughs> did it. I named myself um, Cookie Dough. Yeah, I know, I heard cookie. that. Yeah. I like yeah. that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I uh, so on set, there was the character Fiona, Okay. Who plays my um, my prince's uh, sister, and then the actress playing my mother. Her name was Fiona. In her real so, life. In real life. So it was always Fiona. Which Fiona? Which Fiona has a fitting? Which Fiona's needed on set? Which Fiona are you talking to? And then we would <laughs> we would always try to come up with like little nicknames. You know, like that's Princess Fiona. That's Mom Fiona. Yep. But it, <laughs> it never worked out. Like at one point they're like Old Fiona. So oh, no, oh, stop oh, it. No. They did not say Old Fiona. Old Fiona. Wow. Not to be like, that. We were like, we all like, no, no, we're just really? not that right oh now. Oh my gosh, old Fiona, middle Fiona, <laughs> well, then, young Fiona. Fiona. <laughs> wow, thanks. Yeah, and then I love how like when people are English or you know they say like they they have <laughs> R's sometimes like Fiona. We have a fun with that too. Well, we have a clip where you Fiona, actually playing <laughs> Sarah, is invited to the castle from your prince Danny. Yes, Let's Danny. take a look. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Sarah. This uh, is... Oh, King Edmund, it is my great pleasure and honor to meet you. Sir, this is our head butler, Jackson, Miss Sarah DeMarco. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just that you look so regal. But then everyone does. Is the king here? Did I miss him? <laughs> You'll meet him soon enough. It's not every day I'm mistaken for nobility, miss. I am flattered. Welcome home, Your Highness. I understand congratulations are in order. Your book? Oh, right, yes, that. <laughs> Have you a second one in mind? I think that one might be a, a love story. Uh, my parents. In the drawing room. I just need to grab my bags. And I guess that shouldn't surprise me. Let's go meet the parents. <laughs> oh! Uh, <laughs> Am I supposed to wave now? She wave. I should wave He's back. So, so cute, you know. And um, uh, I mean, the actors that we got to work with over there were so talented. Uh, it was just, I felt so lucky to be blessed by such an incredible cast. The um, can we talk about that castle for a second? Right. That wasn't a prop Beautiful. castle, right? Uh, like that's no, a real... <laughs> that is a real castle. That is the Mar Cree oh Castle goodness. in Sligo, Ireland, and it is breathtaking. It is so beautiful. And okay, you guys, not only did we film in this incredible castle, but we lived in the castle. You got to live there. I got to live the in the castle. Come again? So I live there. I lived like, in the castle. Stayed there, like in yes. a room. Like, like it, it, in the in the center tower. Like I was on the third floor, overlooking the gardens. I mean, you guys, I was a little a literal princess for, yeah. <laughs> for I, a month. Wow, and did I, you have a little bell that you would ring and people would come and running? Butlers would come. <laughs> More like PAs. Yeah, <laughs> with walkies. Yeah, she's at it. They weren't quite dressed in tuxes, <laughs> yes. but it was fine. I made them dress in tuxes. <laughs> did you? Did you? Everyone on set. And they would wave to you. All the extras on set. That is too funny. But I know this really was for you like a dream come true, legitimately, Absolutely. because you really do have quite a bit of an obsession with Disney princesses. <laughs> You really, this you is really? like a long standing thing. As a matter of fact, in on the set of um, Tulips in Spring, another Hallmark oh. channel original movie in 2016, 
you actually channeled your inner Disney princess. I did, yeah. Yeah. I, you want to tell us what happened? Oh, God. I know. I can't believe they, they, they found uh. this clip. <laughs> this is what happens with social media. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, um, but basically, we, um, we made... <laughs> I loved The Little Mermaid as a kid. I saw it nine times in the theater. I was, like, obsessed when I was a kid. And um, we, I, you know, the Look at This Stuff, that song? Yeah, I love yeah. it. Well, um, we, <laughs> we look, whenever I'm on set of anything, I'm always, like, making little music videos and singing because I'm a total dork. And we made a Tulips and Spring version of Look at This Stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, and guess what? We have proof we of that. We hacked your social like media account. <laughs> we like to show you some footage of Look at This Stuff. Oh. Look at the stuff <laughs> in the knees. What did you think my flower feels complete? <laughs> what did you think I'm the girl, the girl who grows anything? I've got tulips and roses aplenty. I've got poppies and pansies galore. <laughs> Get back in here or I'll kill you. <laughs> you want daffodils? I got sweaty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. <laughs> That's, That's a really nice version. <laughs> I like that. My version about flowers. They must, princess must be born because Julie, when she saw the script, I was going over it, and she's like, what, "What's on? The, what are you talking about?" Because her and Parker watch that movie every day. That's oh all. yeah, every day. So good. She have a little princess. Um, well, listen, I know your mom is here, going to spend some time. Victoria's yes. here today. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, so. Mom. Growing up, I know, growing up in England, she mm -hmm. was British. Yeah. So clearly you had a go-to. She was your Google when it came to <laughs> right. all things True. royalty and yeah. being princess-like and how to treat. Did you lean on her a lot? Um, well, what was amazing was my mom actually came out to Ireland for the filming. Oh. She'd always wanted to go, so she actually, um, she came with me, which was great because she's, like, so much fun and we have a great time together. And um, we, uh, she, and, and also just growing up, like, she's very proper. And so yeah. she um, she knows, like, all the etiquette and things. So oh, she, some of the stuff I kind of already knew and then the other stuff I'm like, meh. <laughs> I'm terrible at it. Exactly. Well, that's okay. They could always teach um, you. Yeah, but I definitely, like, she's always there to, to let you know. No, she, yeah, you <laughs> she's there to let that. you know what you've like, yeah. you know, but they, um, it was so fun too because the actors that played the king and the queen, like they were always giving um, the uh, the the set decorators and people um, a little bit of uh, you know they'd always make sure that they were doing everything right in terms of silverware and whatnot. Yeah. Like oh, they yeah. were very up it's on it. It's important. That's really great yeah. though because then it's absolutely authentic. Yeah. You know, if someone were to yeah. see it, they'd be like, oh, that that's legit. That's the wrong fork. Shoot. Exactly. Right. Her. Well, With the since R at the end that's the wrong fork. 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 Oh, that's it. Since <laughs> you have been trained, royally trained, in proper princess etiquette. I mean, virtually from birth, thanks to your mother. I mean, yes, and then, right? I'm a princess. Yeah, you did some research for the movie. We thought we would give you a quiz. Oh, God. Okay. To, um, Pop the quiz. Do's, the do's and don'ts that Meghan Markle may have to um, deal with coming up here very soon. Mm. So here okay. we go. True or false? When first meeting the queen, women are expected to kiss her ring. True or false? <laughs> false. Thank false. You. You, are, you do not shake hands unless the queen um, presents their hand to shake. My mom taught me that. Uh -huh. um, and, and said you curtsy. Oh. Beautiful. Well, oh, I, yeah, got huh? I got one. All right. <laughs> Two more to go. You want, you want to go for the, the <gasps> luggage? We'll go Ooh. for that too, okay? okay. You we already go. got the salad spinner. Let's see if we can get True the or false? Come 6 p.m., royal married women are expected to swap their hats for tiaras. True. True. <laughs> yes, I just, my mom taught me that one too. <laughs> this I thought oh that can't be right I love that I know you guys I would love to just walk around with a little fascinator I <laughs> Can mean they're you amazing imagine? and then do a tiara at night I mean, do you think at 6 p.m. the butler brings them the tiara your tiara uh, no <laughs> mine did in the movie is you that did, how it works did, right and this is the last one you could be three for Ooh, three you could get the whole thing okay. when meeting the, the queen nice she is to be addressed as her royal highness true or false wait that okay that is I think <laughs> She's looking at mom. In the movie. <laughs> mom. Sarah does it wrong in the movie because they say your highnesses is, and then it's majesties. Or maybe I say majesties and I don't know. I don't know. It's because ah! You got it right. You got it right. I don't even show know what I time. answered, but show I got it right. Should we, should we show her what I, she's won? I think you should. You, you deserve. It's not a fascinator, but it is fascinating. <laughs> Here you are. There you are. Yeah. Carry it with your pride. Your we would like to Your remind Majesty. you on this Saturday of Royal <laughs> Romance.
Hallmark Channel <laughs> extends an invitation to you and your loved ones to join us for a marathon of fairy tale forevers. It's capped off at 9, 8 central with the world premiere of Fiona in Royally Ever After. <laughs> and there, Listen, you that's the song. for you too. It's all for you, you can break out Fiona. Song.